Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How long has it been since I sat down and made a proper like YouTube video? One that isn't a vlog or coming on holiday with me or anything that's wedding planning. It's actually a real sit down YouTube video. It feels like I haven't done this for so long. But I'm actually really excited to be sat here in front of the camera and talking to you guys again and just filming some content now that I actually have some time that the wedding has passed and that I actually have time back in my life to be able to dedicate myself back to making some videos for you. So I am so excited to actually sit down and bring you a monthly, well, it's not really a monthly favourites, it's more of like a roundup favourites. I'm going to be filming a favourites video for you because there have been quite a few products that have made their way into my life over the last few months that I haven't shared with you because I just haven't had the time to sit down and talk to you. So I think I'm going to start with some makeup favourites because everyone loves makeup, especially me, and I have just a few products I wanted to talk to you about that I've been really loving over the last couple of months. So the first product that I'm going to talk to you about is... It, does anyone actually even watch these monthly favourite videos anymore? I feel like I have not done one for so long that actually I'm worried that people aren't even going to enjoy this, but I feel like I want to film like an old school monthly favourites video. So the first product that I'm going to talk to you about is the Clinique Even Better Glow Light Reflecting Makeup. It's a foundation, I'm wearing it today, it's absolutely gorgeous. It contains an SPF 15, which is great for somebody like me, I'm very fair, so SPF on my face is definitely something that I need, and I'm quite a lazy girl, so I don't wear a separate SPF. So great that it has this already built in. It's a really lightweight, glowy foundation, it has very good coverage, even though it's quite a lightweight foundation, you can sheer it out if you want to, or if you're somebody like me who needs that fuller coverage. And I've just been really enjoying wearing it, it doesn't break me out, it feels really lightweight on the skin, it doesn't feel like I'm caked in makeup, especially in the weather that we've had in England at the moment, it has been a heat wave, and it hasn't melted off of my face, I've just been really enjoying wearing it, and... I believe it is about £30, so even though it's quite a small tub, you do get quite a lot of product for your money because of the fact that it is very pigmented. I'm wearing all of the products on my face today so that you could see exactly what they wear like. I always find that when you watch these favourites video, if people aren't wearing them, then you don't really know what they look like. So the next um, product that I wanted to talk to you about is the lipstick that I'm wearing today. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Live It Up lipstick. I actually brought this to wear on my wedding day. It's a really gorgeous, like plummy, nudie pink. I absolutely adore it. I didn't end up wearing it on my wedding. I wore MAC Pure Zen instead because it complemented the makeup look better and the makeup artist um, kind of gave it to me. So I wore that on my wedding day. Um, but this was the makeup, this was the lipstick that I picked up to wear for my wedding day and actually I loved, the, I loved the lipstick that I wore, I did think it looked really nice, but I'm so in love with this lipstick, I'm kind of wishing that maybe I had worn it. Um, yeah, either way, it feels really special to me because obviously I picked it up for the wedding. Love it, it feels really comfortable on the lips. I do wear a little bit of lip liner with it just to make it look a little bit more fuller and poutier but I'm really enjoying wearing it. Next up is this mascara. This is the Stila Mile High Lashes. I have been using this for such a long time. It has a really thick wand. One half of the wand is a fatter, sort of like longer bristle, and then the other half is a shorter bristle that you can get kind of like right into the lash line. It makes my lashes look like I'm wearing false lashes, which is great for me. It definitely lives up to the name Mile High Lashes. It makes them really long, really lengthened, and it really black as well. This is the second one that I have purchased. I have used this the entire year and last year. I absolutely love it, so I thought that I would share it with you. And then lastly, for makeup favourites, is a new one to my collection. This is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer. I was in the market for a new concealer purely because I was using a NYX one, which just the coverage wasn't as good as I normally would like. I do like a heavy coverage under my eyes just because I like it to look nice and bright and awake. So I popped into Space NK and picked up this little one from Laura Mercier purely because it looked very pigmented and very brightening. I use the shade 1N. I am wearing it today. If my eye under eyes look nice and bright, then it is down to this lovely little beauty. I've been using it for about 
two weeks now but I had to pop it in my favourites because it has fastly become one of my staples in my makeup bag and I've been loving wearing it so those are all of my makeup favourites moving on to a couple of skincare faves I am sure that I have spoken to you about these products a million times on my channel but I just have to include them because I have used these solely like solidly for the last god I'd have to say probably near enough a year now and I think I probably did mention them in my last favourites but I absolutely swear by these products for making me feel like I have really lovely gorgeous glowy skin and I used these in the run up to my wedding and I honestly swear by them they have been absolutely amazing so the cleanser that I use is the Emma Hardy cleanser I've used it for the last like four five years I've spoken about it so much on my channel before but I obviously I do still use that one but I've spoken about it so many times I didn't see the point in showing you guys again um, but the range that I have been using is still from Emma Hardy but the range that I have been using is still from Emma Hardy the first product is the age support face cream I have pretty much virtually nearly run out of this. I've probably got about three or four more goes of this tub. I have repurchased so, so many of these tubs. I cannot tell you. It is an absolutely incredible moisturiser. I don't really use it for the ageing sort of like properties that it has, but it's just very good at keeping my dry skin very hydrated. It contains hyaluronic acid, which is great for holding on to the moisture in your skin and making your skin look more plump and a lot more sort of youthful and much more full of water rather than dry skin which I am very much prone to so I've loved this and I also use it in conjunction with the Brilliance Face Oil again from Emma Hardy this is my second bottle this is definitely one that I cannot live without I use this day and night I use a little bit more of it at night time to really plump my skin up and make it look really youthful and hydrated but the combination of these two together is absolutely incredible in the run up to my wedding I didn't wear any makeup I think for the last two weeks I used literally these two every single day day and night along with my cleanser and a little bit of lip balm which we'll move on to in a second and my skin felt the best it had, literally the best it had ever looked and it is definitely down to these products I was so religious with my skincare in the run-up to the wedding and then those last final two weeks of just completely having no makeup on my skin and making sure that my skin was cleaned twice a day with lots of lovely products made my skin feel so glowy and amazing on the wedding and I was so happy with how my skin looked. Even the makeup artist commented on how good my skin looked. So I thought I'd definitely have to put those in there just because they have been lifesavers over the last few months and definitely in the run up to my wedding they were amazing. So another empty product now and this is the lip balm that I just said that I would mention. This is the By Terry Balm de Rose. I think I have spoken about this on my channel before. It's been so long that I filmed any videos I can't remember what I have and haven't told you. But this product is completely empty now. I've gone through two tubs of this. I honestly could not live without this lip balm. I did purchase a cheaper one whilst I was on my little mini moon and it just did not compare. I know that I have to go out and repurchase this as soon as I go near, let's face it, I know that I have to repurchase this as soon as payday comes around because I cannot live without it. I used this every single day. I think I got this in either October or November last year, my first tub and then the second tub I think I repurchased a few months ago. But I use this every single day but I use this every single day without fail, morning, afternoon, night time. I honestly swear by this lip balm in changing the way that my lips are. I never, ever, ever seem to have dry lips and I used to suffer from quite dry, flaky lips and they used to be quite sore. I have not had any issues since I've been using this. It is completely empty as I already told you purely because I just love it. I literally scraped out every single last bit. It is quite pricey, it's about £40 a jar, but I honestly couldn't rave about this product enough. And again, this in the run up to the wedding made my lips look really plump and rejuvenated. And the last thing you want on a wedding day is your lips to look dry and flaky. So I spoiled by this and it was amazing for the wedding and every single day. So I would definitely be repurchasing another one of those. Of course, I am still living in my little happily married wedding bubble and two products that I have been loving every single day since the wedding, because I saved these until the day, are my wedding perfume and my wedding body lotion. I have been using this every single day just because it smells so lovely and obviously it reminds me of the wedding. It just makes me feel like I'm still in my little happily married bubble. The perfume is the Jo Malone Peony and Blush Suede Cologne. 
I have dented the top of it quite considerably in the last couple of weeks because I just love spraying this every single day and having it take me back to our wedding. I wore this obviously on the wedding day and it's just absolutely stunning. I literally doused myself in it on the actual day so I, I really wanted everybody to smell it. And then I also layered it with the Peony and Blush Suede Body Cream. This is really, really hydrating and it makes my skin feel really smooth and soft and supple. I'm normally somebody, as I said earlier, that's quite lazy. I don't really moisturise. I don't really spend time on making myself feel like luxurious and girly but I've been really treating myself to using this on my arms and like my chest area every single day and it's been feeling really nice to just feel like pampered and girly and have some nice luxury products on my skin every day and I can definitely say that actually my skin has felt a lot nicer and less dry so I probably should purchase the full size one of this. Moving on to something else that was also something from the wedding and I promise I will stop talking about wedding things although I have one more, one more thing. Um, this is a candle from Katie Loxton. It's called A Little Love and this was gifted to me from my lovely best friend and my maid of honour, Sarah. This candle, I've barely lit it. You really don't need to light this candle because the scent throw from this is so strong and I have it on my coffee table literally next to where I sit pretty much every evening. But the reason I wanted to include this is because it obviously holds special memories from the wedding day. But the smell of this is absolutely gorgeous. This particular scent is, it doesn't actually say on here, it's obviously The Little Love. It's peony and grapefruit, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. But it really reminds me of a holiday that my mum took us on when I was probably about seven or eight years old. For some reason, this candle really, really reminds me of that holiday. I don't know why. I might get my mum to smell it when I see her next and just see if there's any reason why she would know what it smells, why it smells of that holiday. But I don't know why. Every single time I'm sat on the sofa and I get a whiff of the candle, it literally takes me back to that holiday straight away. So it feel, so I feel like it has really lovely memories. And obviously, because it's from my wedding, so it just makes me feel really special. And I've been loving having this on my coffee table, just burning away or just sat on there so I can get a little sniff of it in the evening and remind me of all the happy memories that it fills me with. I feel very sentimental throughout this video. The next thing that I wanted to talk to you about is probably something very, very random. And I don't really, really know how I'm going to show you, but it's actually a pair of trainers. These are some Adidas, I'm not really too sure if they're the Stan Smiths or what they are, but they're like the typical Adidas trainers that pretty much everyone and their mum owns. They are a little bit dirty now, they probably could do with a clean. But I have been wearing these non, 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 non stop. I took them on honeymoon with us. For me, I feel like they instantly style up any of my outfits. If you're wearing just like a pair of um, leggings and a nice jumper or a pair of jeans, a pair of shorts, a skirt. <laughs> I feel like they just instantly make everything look fresh and a little bit trendier and a little bit more crisp and they're so super comfy. I've seen so many people on Instagram wearing them and I just think they look really nice with like little girly dresses or little skirts and t-shirts. They instantly just kind of make me feel like I'm like this cool dressed up but yet casual person. I feel like I can wear like a nice dressy outfit, throw on the trainers and it just makes it look a little bit more cool and hip. I feel like an old person saying that because I realise I am reaching nearer 30 and I'm probably not that cool anymore. However, I feel like they instantly make an outfit look a little bit cooler. And I generally wear them with one other thing that I want to talk about in this video. And that is my fisherman's, I think it's a fisherman's like drawstring sack bag thingy. I wanted one of these for the longest, longest time. This is one from Urban Outfitters. It's just like a typical beige cream one. You literally chuck it on your shoulders and fill it with all of your junk. I love it so much. I have used this so much over the last few months. I took it to Venice with us and it is honestly the handiest thing because it folds up so small I could fit it inside just like my everyday handbags and then it meant if we bought anything whilst we were out I could just grab this out and chuck it inside. It stretches out really large so you can fit so much in it. I take it to the shops with me when I pop down to Waitrose and Tesco's and pop like our tomatoes and our mints for the dinner inside it. But it's just been so handy. I picked this up actually when I was on my hen in Bath and I think all of the girls silently judged me when they saw that I was gonna buy this. But I absolutely love it. I've used it so, so much. And I feel like this with the Adidas trainers has just been like a way to instantly call up an outfit. 
and it's great because I don't have to use any plastic bags when I'm out, so I'm saving the environment. And I think that I paid £15 for that one, which I did think was a little bit pricey. You can pick them up on eBay for like three or four pounds. I love that particular one and I hadn't found one anywhere else. So I picked that one up and I've been loving it. Another bag that I wanted to talk to you about is this one. This is a little white crossbody bag and it's from the brand LRM Goods, which I found on Instagram. And it's actually monogrammed with my new initials, FS. And I picked this up actually to wear, what's got on it? I feel like it's got a little stain on it. And I picked this up as a wedding day bag, but I was actually kindly given a little present from my stepmom with a different bag on the wedding day, so I used that instead. But I used this on our little Venice honeymoon. It's great because you can use it with the long strap. You can take it off. It has little clips on there if you want to take it off as a clutch as well. So I used it as a clutch in the evening and then a little crossbody bag during the day, but it's great purely because it fits absolutely everything in it. I feel like it's a little Mary Poppins bag, so it undoes like that, and then inside it's quite roomy. So I managed to fit in my vlogging camera on holiday, my phone, my passport, Sam's passport, a lipstick, a lip balm, hairband, my card holder, so many different things. And then on top of that, I could also fit in the little Urban Outfitters basket, the little thing I showed you last, like the little I don't even know what you call it, fisherman sack. I could fit that inside this as well. It genuinely is a little Mary Poppins handbag. It doesn't look like it would fit that much in it, but it's such a great little travel bag. And I love the fact that it has my new initials on it. Obviously being married now, I feel like I want to show off my new name as much as possible. So it was great for me to have this on my honeymoon. I will definitely be taking it on like our main honeymoon with us in September. And the bags on LRM Goods are so affordable. This one was 36 pounds, including the monogram, which I thought was amazing considering anywhere else that you look for anything monogrammed is so expensive so yeah I thought I would give a little shout out for the little bag that I purchased and I definitely want to add a few more items from their collection into my collection they have this gorgeous crossbody satchel which looks exactly like the Gucci Soho disco bag and I definitely plan on picking one of those up to have monogrammed again with my new initials so I can use that as like my everyday bag if I don't want to use that one. So that is pretty much everything that I had to show you in my updated favourites video. I hope that you enjoyed watching it. I'm sure that this is probably going to be a really long rambly video so I hope that you don't mind too much. I've missed you guys so much. A thank you to everyone who has subscribed already. There's quite a few of you that are new over here even though I haven't uploaded lots over the last few months. You've still subscribe to my channel and it's been so lovely to see all of the new um, people over here on my channel still subscribing and sticking with me throughout obviously the busy period in my life so yeah thank you so 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 much I will see you all again in my next video don't forget to subscribe obviously if you aren't already it means the world to me and I will see you all again soon bye